Hello guys, uh, we're back with Max Payne. This is uh, part three of his uh, story. He's been dragged again. And let's see how it's gonna work out. Who's there? Max? Max, is that you? So we're from going from Pinchinello's office to the end of our apartment. Max? Where are you, Max? Please. <laughs> This time the bathroom is closed. No, please, Max, no, I'm sorry. Please don't, Max, no, please. The baby is not in the cradle. No messages left for us, but there is an eerie feeling. Was staring at me. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. Hello, Mr. I was in a graphic Wall. novel. Funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone was spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. The caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. Uh -huh. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics hanging in the air glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. Endless repetition of the act of shooting. Time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. Interesting, isn't it? Huh? Don't lose it. It's Valkyr. The drug. Snap out of it. Try to remember. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble. I couldn't make sense of it. <laughs> but I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. And the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. We're back in the apartment, but it's a bit different this time. Uh-huh. 
Okay. I wonder if there is a gap. Don't want to check that. Shit. Yeah, maybe it's not about reaching the current place, but traveling. Let's kill Max Payne. It's like he was the reason for her death. <laughs> but she worked for his DA, so... Max, something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Yeah, that's you, basically. Okay. Chapter one. Because that was a pillow, you know? Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said, take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road. But when I did, I drove straight to cold steel foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood. Adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind. I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. What? At best, I was Superman and Kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. Yeah, it looks more and more like Soldier of Fortune. Metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew.
not the much I can do from here, but maybe, just maybe. Shit, stupid touchpad. Okay, no point in trying that. Trip wires. No, it won't work. Oh, that's how it works. <sighs> Sounded a bit like a nuke. Yeah, killer star, I'm gonna hear it in a sec. Life-threatening weather condition. A record-breaking killer storm. In the city's history, vehicles stuck in snow. Heavy snowfall. Forecast shows. Severe weather is expected to continue. Out in the night, snow fell like confetti over the Devil's Parade. The storm was anything but over. Yet. Uh huh. Okay. There is a place with a button. Buttons usually mean making progress. A bit better. Yeah, I'm a bit of a power gamer. If you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Stop, you know, diving right in them like that. Mm. Shit.
Okay. If it's so hip to use it. She's dead. Hmm. So if I go here, will she appear immediately? No. I have to do this. this.
I saw you see. Jumping's too slow sometimes. Justice? I rest my case. What are you doing? Your gun? Hello? What the hell? Okay, it's better to fight. Hello? Hell no. You do? Well, yeah, kind of. Bit of an overkill. Hello. Okay, now I lost four ammo or less. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Talking military lingo could mean only one thing. They were getting ready to destroy the evidence and vanish into the night. I was so close. The hidden truths were just around the corner. in the glass? Yeah. Fuck. Oh. 
Yeah, fast things fast. Never touch an item if you think that you might die in a sec. Let's get ready and only then. The mercenaries were running a tight operation, paperwork and all. Merchandise missing again. A chemist had tried to smuggle it out for his own private party. Locked him up in cell B7 and D6's old test facility to wait for proper processing. I was close enough to hear the secrets, just beyond the next doorway. Oh, surprise, surprise. Okay, we have to breach this somewhere. Lexus or gas? Hmm. There are more guys here anyway. Okay. There ah, oh, yeah, there below. But how much below? Where below? Here below, okay. If he's here below, then... <clears throat> Stop shooting without my... F. That's with this touchpad. It's got that the bullet needs some time to reach the opponent, the target, or whatever. Yeah, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. No, 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 no. <sighs> Not that, okay, no ammo for that. Okay, shooting it won't work. Or maybe it does, I just have to be no, you know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> Come on, it was already broken. That was a bit cheap.
Ah. Okay. Now at least I know that I have to go and it's dead. And I even see the pet. Okay, that is a phone Zed. So I might as well be jumping here. Okay, I need to reach the other side. Press the button. Okay, that looks like a potential way out. Okay. Nothing. Okay, that it's got that the force here out of thick. Okay, that's not dead. Monitor showed me the way. Processing diagrams fill the control room screens, all but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, past rows of ovens in the core of the plant. Don't shoot at me when I'm drinking coffee, shit! Processing diagrams fill the control room screens, all but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, past rows of ovens, in the core of the plant. Ah. 
Okay. Da -da -da -da. And it all hit the barrier. Shit. Ooh. That went extremely well. in a desert eagle? Okay. Yeah, it's a bit problematic. Maybe just running through the middle should yeah. I don't know. Nope. So jump in here and here. Ah, almost. No. No. A bit too much. No. No. Now, 
Now. Uh -huh. Did he hit me or what was that? Uh. Okay. Okay. Now I have to go back. Cold Commando. That's a good idea. I just have to, you know, position myself better. him another pee pee hole. Get up the D6. Two guys. Hello. Okay, now it's gonna stop the right? Chapter 3, The Deep Six. 
I had taken on the role of the mythic detective, Bogart as Marlowe, or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries. Following a path of clues to that final revelation, even if it would take me down to the cold, cavernous depths of a grave. Is his head flat? You can't do this. My men are still inside. Do you have any idea why this is called Operation Dead Eyes? <laughs> I think he's dead already. Let's do it. I had seen the land on the floor before. There was an old army bunker under the steel mill. I knew the military plaque on the floor. I had seen a thousand variations of the insignia on crumbling brick walls everywhere in the city. The sword replaced by a syringe. Project Valhalla. V for Valkyr. V for Valhalla. All of a sudden it read like a crackpot conspiracy theory. Processing, test facilities. Okay, only the processing is green, so. Abort, abort. The self destruction sequence has been initiated. Get the hell out of here. The place will be. Abort, abort. The self destruction sequence has been initiated. Go, 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 go. So this is where they are making venom, then green. Yeah, that's the only way you can call a green slime that makes people go ape shit. in the Valkyr case, the door code was a mystery to me. The dog will know it, right? The one which is now, who is now, this subject? The chemist had been using the workstation when he died. The half-life of the lab rat had ended online, his password blinking on the screen. 665, the neighbor of the beast. Isn't it opening?
self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Determination completed. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. Doing it wrong. Looks like a cycle. Oh yeah, she has to write the decontamination and I need to I'm get dead. through the decontamination chamber airlock. You're crazy! No way! The place is blowing up for Christ's sakes! Either that or back to the cell. Your choice. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Well, what's the hold up? Can't you see the place is gonna blow up? Yeah, I like you know. I like to have a few. She's coming off that. I shot the brown guy. Uh. 
Okay, let's close them. I was caught in the middle of the deadly web that was the Valkyr case. This might be tricky. Shit. Oh. One of the lab terminals had the project logo on the screen. Top Secret, Project Valhalla, U.S. Army, Yggdrasil Network. Valhalla, the otherworldly place in Norse mythology where the bravest heroes spent their afterlife feasting and fighting forever, their wounds miraculously healed night after night. Valkyr, the maidens who chose the most courageous Viking warriors and carried them to Valhalla. 1991. The research objective is to create a chemical substance to enhance the stamina and morale of infantry troops. 1995. Results unsatisfactory. Project cancelled. Someone had decided to continue the sick experiment unauthorized. Yep. Project compromised. Data leak. Fix the damage by any means necessary. Security clearance red. Authorized by the project lead. Field test. Double the dosage for all the remaining test subjects. Observe and record the subject's behavior in an urban setting. The drop-off point was my old address in New Jersey. The file dated three years ago. Ah. Just when you thought you had reached the deepest depths of horror, it suddenly got worse. How to turn off that small voice inside your head that started to whisper that you should be glad that now, if not before, your revenge was justifiable on any conceivable moral scale. That small voice proved, beyond any doubt, that I was damned. The dagger-heeled woman had come and gone a long time ago. There was nothing more for me here. The bunker's name was acting as a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, I'm got inside. something wrong, so...
it? Oh, okay. That's the way to open the door. Jigsaw and the final picture is you finishing that same puzzle. A mad, green-eyed killer standing behind you. An urban legend come true. The Project Valhalla test subjects had been the mad junkies who had murdered my loved ones. The rest was simple body count math. It all pointed to her. Ms. Valkyr. The factory went up in a fiery inferno behind me. All my leads were dead, turned to smoke and dust. I had lost my way. I hadn't slept in a million years. Backstabbing bastard. I felt thin as death. I've been living on an endless supply of weak old donuts. They were fuel for this crazy furnace inside my head. I couldn't remember when I had last seen the sun. I was on a permanent graveyard. Come on, it's not the same evening. When the darkness fell, New York City became something else. Any old Sinatra song notwithstanding. Bad things happened in the night. On the streets of that other city. Noir York City. I was in an all night diner. Tasted like engine oil. When a new message from BB got me back on the killer track. What the hell happened at Roscoe Street? Maxie, I'm going out on a limb here. We need to talk this through. Come up with a plan. 2 30 a.m. the choir communications garage. The more I thought about Alex's murder in the frame up, the more it felt like an inside job. I should have seen it coming. BB had sold me out, and now he wanted to finish what he'd started. The garage was dead. BB showed up in his tailor-made suit, gold watch, and cufflinks to match. All way beyond a cop's pay. Maxi. Oozing suave charm, he was guilty as hell. What the hell does BB stand for anyway? Backstabbing bastard? Come on, don't be like that. Have a cigar. I don't smoke. Maxie, you have no idea how big this is. It's huge. You have no idea. I think I do. You're a bribe taken bent cop who sold out his partner. Those mobsters in the subway were a dead giveaway. Hard to miss. Bet it was exactly like this with Alex. Up close and personal. You can't win this one, Max. No, but I can make damn sure none of you do either. BB turned out to be another cardboard cutout bad guy. A bad cop on the take, a cowardly right hand man fleeing from the scene, leaving his paid thugs to do his dirty work. Thugs to do his dirty work. Ah, shit, too high. 
it's low. Mm. And I said to her, you know. I meant that. Shit. It would be nice if I was shooting a bit higher. Okay, now at least know that I can take him down from there. Maybe next time I'll be playing Counter-Strike. Not. That's the longest moment I've been on full health since the game started. Uh, let's not spoil the moment. Ah. 
shit! And where is it? The deck? Where did the car come from? Whoa, I still have a grenade. Nah, it's gonna be. It's a bit like poker. You have to know when to, you know, play and when to, you know, skip around. And when to bluff. Grenades are good for laughing. It's like faking a poker. Uh, uh, uh. I think it's a good moment to, you know, wear the cars, Commando. The question now is, why did they target the pain residence specifically? Oh. 
earth like a ballerina. Dance, monkey, dance. It's like I'm dead and I'm not. Yeah, they presume that some fun of us, you know. Quick saving, a bit less, maybe? Punchinello, the alleged head of the Punchinello crime family. The police are now saying, contrary to their earlier statements, that Max Payne is still alive and at large. He continues his vendetta against the Mafia, of which this last act of arson is attributed to. I had no recollection of setting any fires, but I did remember the flames. <laughs> Okay. Da, 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 da. get them? Or was it just luck? This car is still running. Ah! But I saw all the explosive patterns and now nah, it's a ordinary one.
Nice jump, dude. So that's uh, not a good place to hide from the grenade. But if I shorten maybe the distance and make them feel like I'm here. Or just, you know, run into them and shoot them in the face. was a very close meeting with death. to plan A. Hmm. So a nice jumping. Ok, 
Okay, I got the idea. Sure. Nope. Ah. Okay, this is a bad ass. Phone started to ring. Pay phone, pay phone. for you. This is Alfred Wooden. I can give you the name of your enemy. Come to the Asgard building presently. We are expecting you. Asgard building. <laughs> Chapter 5. In the land of the blind. Wooden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. Make all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. It was an impressive floor show, but I decided yeah. to leave it anyway. It was only a one-story fall. Lucky me. They're not gonna help me anytime soon. Sure, they're here. Ah, the other one was alive. There.
Their toughness is a bit annoying. Yeah. It's gonna be easy, Alexis. One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. screen the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. Hmm. Still, I don't think that we can test him, hey guys? Open. Ah, too slow. Or too quick. You wanna play like that? Okay, nothing happened to him. Let's try again. Using a rushing cocktail. Okay, not. Back to the grenades. Let's carry it up a bit.
Okay. And what is your answer to those saying that he is actually providing a service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. Yeah, bravura, bona ventura, ace ventura. Blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure the kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Collateral is a very nice movie. Woden had left me a present. The map of her headquarters. Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. So the elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high rise was sealed as tight as a sci fi fortress. Nothing seems to stop Acer Corporation's phenomenal victory march. Incredibly, the stocks are still rocketing. Worried experts already see a danger in the company's success. Some have gone as far as to say that Acer Corporation is about to become an even bigger monopoly than Microsoft ever was. Okay. There's the other guy downstairs, yep. Why did he do so much damage? Like I care. Hate is gonna hate. Potato is gonna potate. Okay, this is where I came from. But from a different point of view, like, you know, going through a different set of thoughts.
downstairs. Can see him upstairs. Downstairs, okay. One should do that trick. Throw it a bit differently, maybe? Nah, throw it, come on! Yep! Chapter 6 Byzantine Party. I dreamed of revenge. Those dreams were always nightmares of coming close and then failing. Now I was close. I had a name to guide me, Nicole Horn. I had nothing to lose. Except life. Circle had quite a track record. Ah. The inner circle had quite a track record. Project Valhalla had not been the only thing the inner circle had been involved in. There were rows of cabinets full of files. The Serpentine Secret Society went back a long way, always pulling strings from the shadows. I couldn't say I was sorry. Woden's move in some Byzantine power game had cut the circle's membership roster to one. The old man wanted me on cleanup duty. It was my mess too. Well, he might have done it on purpose.
Come on. What am I missing here? Yeah, I know there was someone here, but... on this side of the wall. Yep. Let's go to do angry mode. Okay, that was a bit too much bravado. If I knew that he's alive.
man. Yeah, you can imagine that hat. Okay, that is the exit. Yeah, sometimes I like to make a bit of an overkill. This reminds me of Mafia. Okay, now I have to use the stairs to get down. Okay. Now I know from where they're coming. Is missing. So, are we going out or what? astronomical and best of all you get to kill any scumbag who gets in your way license to kill like James Bond
Live or let die. Okay, we're bad. back at the entrance. Wanna play like that? I'll give you rough. I'll give you rock or see Freddy rough. Let's finish this. A bit of luck over there. Whoa. Ah. Have to do it ah, like this. <gasps> oh no, I'm armed. <sighs> Chapter seven. Nothing to lose. Mine wasn't the most original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge. Old as dirt, still going strong. Oh, that's your mama! The rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal, which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time, cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time thinking about it, building up the rage. Building up the rage. When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra high tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. New York disappeared behind a veil of snow. I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, metal detectors, and surveillance systems. Hmm. That's the building, on top of which Max is standing. And is a... Colder than a walking train. video. Cold as a gun. So it seems that, um, from a perspective, Mona Sachs entered uh, Punchinello's uh, manor, killed that guy, left him a soon message, and just left. Like, hinting that he's gonna die. Yeah, a bit like Matrix. Okay, let's plan this with this. Ooh. 
the Ned Lanchers. It's got that there now. Here. Oh. Do you know how to make a statement? But I'm the one called Max Payne in this game. Shit. I have something open. Okay. Bad weapon for that uh, shootout. Let's try sniping them with the pistol. That's the other one. Ah, here. The grenade went off his face. Oh. 
Ooh, a tough guy. It's never enough of those. Spin my head right down. Like it, I can. As a surprise. Gotta stop meeting like this. It will be a cold day in hell before I let a narc cop stop me. Miss Sachs, do your job. Relax, Max. You're a nice guy. I don't kill nice guys. You're not bad yourself. It was different when Horn wanted Punchinello dead to cut her ties to the Mafia. He deserved to die. The same goes with her. She's the bad guy here. Her sister was whispering to her in my favor. I knew the appetites of ghosts intimately. They hungered for revenge. Gunshot boomed and she fell down in slow motion. She was a nice girl, not really a stone cold killer. And now she was stone cold dead. <laughs> like religious fanatics or loyal samurai, Horn's private army was coming at me. Hunter. 
When the elevator came back down, Mona was gone. There was a lot of blood, but no body. Something clicked for the final time. My mind had never been so clear, as if somewhere high above the storm clouds were already gone, cold stars blazing from the black skies. Let's get ready to rumble. Night. I had elevator access to the mainframe. From there, I'd be able to override the. Oh! Able to override shit. Elevator access to the mainframe. From there, I'd be able to override the security locks and get to her office. Huh. Okay, that didn't work. Shit.
This is not the correct elevator, I think. What is it? There is like a couple of them here. I think it is. Shit. Okay. So I have to go down to go up. Was that a helicopter? Okay. Time to dodge it. Let's jump here and uh, I don't know what. The unmarked chopper was Horn's pet guardian, in inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me. Inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me. I hate to be stereotyped. I'm not a cold-blooded killer. I'm a nice guy. I love my wife. I have two boys on Hello. Colorado. You just have to make the ends meet. And if that means I have to shoot someone now and then, hey, it's just my job from 9 to 5. Well, not quite from 9 to 5. But I hear you. Hey! Okay. You just have to... Oh. Still too close. Just have to make the ends. Ah. Okay, fun guy is there. Fun guy is here. You could die from radiation. Okay.
All horns locks were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator would take me all the way up. were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator would take me all the way up. Seemed to miss height. Night seemed to stretch on to eternity. A hint of desperation had crept into the snowstorm, as if it was trying to get it all out before the end. So that's how you're gonna play. personal computer was on. Nice fear. Next to the printer was a neat stack of expensive paper. Hacking through Horn's computer would have unearthed files of criminal plans, strategies for world domination, spy helicopter reports, illegal wiretap recordings, internet porno, all of the above. Take your pick. I really didn't care anymore. I had seen too much of it already. Valkyr had been meant to be a white-winged maiden that would lift you to a warrior's heaven, but it turned out to be a one-way demon ride to hell. The devil was in the drug. I knew. I had met him. And now I was going to kill her. The queen of the underworld who had tried to lift herself a bit closer to heaven with her drug money. No begging. No bribes. She knew better. Honor among killers. We who are about to die. Both of us knew how this would end, in pain and suffering. All this because your wife stuck her nose into things that were none of her business. The cops were coming to take me away. The sirens were like a bad conscience I couldn't shake. It's ridiculous you've made it this far. You won't be alive when they get here. On the back? Oh. 
Okay. Doesn't have a clock at half. Max Payne. This is futile. A waste of time. The deaths of your wife and daughter were necessary. Inevitable. It is done. You cannot bring them back. Nothing you do will make it any better. Okay, so it's nothing I can do, I can just push the button and that's all. This is futile. A waste of time. The deaths of your wife and daughter were necessary. Inevitable. It is done. You cannot bring them back. Nothing you do will make it any better. Is it gonna close on its own? Hasn't seen so. Yeah, after, after I started shooting, it started closing, so... I don't want to lose more grenades.
I thought she was dead. Behind me? Yeah. The good old behind me trick. Slower. Uh -huh. She didn't even pop manage to point at me. Come on. That's gonna fight. Max Payne, face it. You are up against an unbeatable force. You have already lost. You have lost. Only death will set you free from your pain. Accept it. Surrender. Yeah. Max Payne, face it. You are up against an unbeatable force. You have already lost. You have lost. up against an unbeatable force. You have already lost. Shit. Nope. Okay, the grenade would kill me anyway. Have to throw it a bit 
Pad. Oh, not this one. Oh, well, it worked. Seems my supplies worked better than yours. Yeah, that's a risk of uh, quick saving a lot. You can quick save at the exact moment they want to kill you. Okay, I'm low on battles. Okay, they have a couple of applications. I like that.
Okay, it works like this. Shooting grenades. Okay. Not like this. Do something more here, right? not the future I was fighting for.
goes the weasel. dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was all over. The storm seemed to lose its frenzy. The ragged clouds gave way to the stars above. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. We've got the building surrounded. Throw down your weapons and lie down with your hands behind your head. Bit closer to heaven. The cops' voices were distant and muted. Freeze! NYPD! Hold it right there! My ghosts released me from their haunting. Down below, New York City glittered like diamonds on black velvet. You gave us one hell of a ride. Take him down to Central Booking! You heard the man. Woden was there in the crowd, standing by the sidelines. It wouldn't be over till the man with the patch would say so. He'd say the right words. I knew he would. He'd better. Woden grinned smugly. It was the grin of a winner. That made two of us. Was it I, wasn't it? Yeah. remember the, the story. I remember that, you know, uh, his family was killed, that he met Mona Sachs here. When I talked with my friends, they reminded me that there was, the, you know, uh, the killing of a guy who was, you know, getting a blowjob, that uh, there was a point where we started only with the bat. Oh, well. <sighs> I like this one. It's uh, it's relieving to see a game that doesn't throw, you know, bugs at your face each and every time you make a move. And I'm talking now about, uh, you know, Invisible War. And the whole bullet time idea. Yeah, I like it. You see me die like a hundred times. The only thing that I can, you know, say bad about this game is that I thought that maybe the parts would be more even. As you probably noticed like the first part was like two and a half, the second was one and a half, 
and this one is like free. But other than that, it's a okay. You're interested what happens to Max? There are, you know, two more parts of uh, the franchise. That's right, uh, Max Payne has only started his journey through the night. The pain has only just begun. More will follow. Hope you liked this game as much as I did. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for another part of uh, Max Payne's adventures. And uh, have a nice day. See you later, alligators. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>